Here we are then. Hello everybody, welcome to the final game of the uh, cross-platform cup. Bleeding Hippie won the toss and chose to receive for PC. Hopefully move someone. Good guy, Hippie. Um, so, he's PC gone mad. He had three rerolls and just got an extra one, didn't he? They both got an extra one. I should have, I should have called that out. He's playing Girdly for the PS4 with Skaven. So Hippie's team, we've seen it before, it's amazing. Two Claw Palm, four Guard, brilliant. And then the other skills going on the Bulls. Blodge, blodge Break Tackle and Block Tackle Break Tackle. I think I think Hippie's team is really good with uh, the way it's just, you know, it's simple and uh, and just effective. 13 players. Don't know if they've got Apples or not. Can't see in this thing, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know, I know, I know Hippie has an Apple actually. I know that because he is. Uh, it failed on the bull, didn't it? The other game. <laughs> yeah, no, no catch on the bulls. Um, right. So, but then Girdley's team, however, has a pro juggernaut, Rat Ogre, which I'm not excited by. Um, basically, three bare bones gutters with block, bludge step, and wrestle. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Wrestle strip dauntless. Okay, but you don't really need Dauntless with Wrestle and Strip. A kick guy, okay. Claw Mighty Blow and Claw Mighty Blow Tackle. So he's missing the piling on, I think. He, he had to have a piling on guy. Um, claw Palm guy. I think that's probably a mistake on his part. And he's only got 12 guys. Oh, an Acura. I think this is horrible, this Acura. This Acura could have been piling on on this guy. Um, also... Mull benched a gut run defense. Maybe, maybe he could have benched a gut run defense, and then, uh, you know, but then you know he's got this shitty thrower. We could have had the thrower there, and then he could have had the rover in the middle and protected both claw guys. I, I don't know, but um, I don't. I really don't like Girdley's team. But Yes, Hunt of the Viking. Yes, so this is this is similar to the match that I had, um, my match against the Undead, where his team was a very scary, bashy team, but I had, like, you know, elfy stuff um, that I could do before my team died. This is the same, except gut runners are kind of even elfier than elves, but then uh, the, the chorfs are really, really scary, the Chaos Dwarves. You know, he's got six tackle. And he's got a uh, he's got the piling on mighty blow, but he will get more punished if if the Skaven do something, because you know he's got so many slow players and unagile. Oh, he's got break tackle. He's like the bulls are amazing. To be fair, the bulls pretty much break, make up for it. But um, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like if he'd taken claw pom instead of claw mighty blow, then he would have had a much better chance. There's a chance of him out bashing the chaos. Dwarves, really, if he had Claw Palm. But without Claw Palm, it's not so scary. And he also doesn't have a guard. Um, uh, Mull had a guard guy. He doesn't have a guard, which is problematic for him. If he'd had guard, he could have hit this guy. But um, Ducky could protect uh, him. Hippie could protect him. Also, he could have just taken Claw on this guy instead of Pro. And if he had Claw Juggernaut, that would have been way better. He could have hit this guy with Claw Mighty Blow and stuff. No, little bass. I don't think we'll be playing it on different platforms. No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe eventually it will actually be able to be cross-platform, but uh, I don't think it'll ever actually be cross-platform possible. But no, I mean, PC is the place to play it, isn't it? Because it's it's the best. <laughs> Yeah, Muldripster, Muldripster Skaven could easily outbash this team, you know, he's got a claw, claw palm guy and its hits would, uh, and he could also foul the claw pommers, so like, Hippie wouldn't want to, uh, Hippie wouldn't want to pile on so much, because he'd be scared of the dirty player, and uh, he would have had guard, and just it's just oh, it's so much better really, Muld's team's so much better, that was a bad spot to leave that guy, wasn't it, and good play, although, although he needed a a GFI, it was good to do the chain into another Tom hit. So 
So, uh, yeah, and obviously the reserves, he, he, you know, he's going to run out of players. Like, like mine was only 11, 11 elves, so I really thought I could have been hammered by the uh, undead. He gets to hit the claw guy. But rolls an 8 on the armour. Would have got him if he'd had claw. Have they played yet, Steel Drake? I don't know if they've played. I don't know when they were there. Yeah, I think Pro. Pro was, was not a good choice. <laughs> But you know, that's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Doesn't mean that it's it's factual. In case in case anybody watching is fucking stupid. <laughs> Amazingly, things that I say that are my opinion are just my opinion. I don't profess to be the god of blood bowl or anything. It's just literally just my opinion, of course. Obviously, like how everything I say is my opinion. But I really, 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 really don't like pro. <laughs> um, also, he got his guy claw pumped. Uh, this is not the final, but it is the last match. See, so he, he got KO'd, whereas if he'd taken claw, he would have actually broken the armor of that guy and not been hit back. Um, so, you know, this is... Hippie's not really in any danger here, is he? Oh, glorious! I subbed for one year and all I got was these emotes. <laughs> Thank you very much, VIP Bikeheads, for the 12 months sub. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, the, the rat could have had claw palm as well, couldn't it? He could have just had claw piling on. And juggernaut. Oh, so he's got, he's got a little tricksy gutter in here. I wonder, I wonder if this gutter runner is going to get smashed on three dice. Or if he's only going to two dice him. It's a lot of resources to three dice him, but the payoff is, uh, is nice, isn't it? Oh, he's going to three dice this one, alright, fair enough. I think I would have gone with a, the more valuable sidestep one. And also, he's more of a scoring threat in case some bullshit happens. But obviously this one lets, lets Hippie get f further forward. Makes the Kaz, Apo fails. Brutal. And I say I don't like the position of this down player. I, I would have rather uh, blitzed this guy and not gone so far forward. Now he's kind of relying on the foul to stop an uphill. I mean, okay, he's got him. Is this, is this dodge the carrier? Right, so the dark carrier's got dodge, which is pretty good, but he's, he's pretty close to the rats now, isn't he? He's pretty close. Although he looks like he's miles away, he's actually pretty close. <laughs> and here comes Skaven being movement nine. Note to hippie, <laughs> gutter runners are actually movement nine. <laughs> and uh, he does the uphill. Gets, uh, you know, he, he could have, Dauntless could have worked. And uh, wrestle strips likely to work anyway. In comes the punt. Maybe he should have moved this guy first, somewhere. And he punts it back there, so that's, uh, Almost certainly preventing the score, because obviously this guy's going to get claw pond on two or three dice. So he knows that. But he's still a bit tricky. <laughs> El Mato doesn't like pro, does he? <laughs> yeah, he didn't count squares. If he didn't count squares, maybe he should have. But I didn't like that turn anyway, it was relying on getting that and I, I would have rather, as I said, I would have rather blitz this guy. Yeah, pro you can take it on vampires because vampires roll dice that you would like to re-roll but can't afford to re-roll. It's the same with troll slayers, isn't it? Trolls when troll slayers would jump up, say. You know, my troll slayer on my dwarf team here, 
uh, in my chance ladder run. You know, he's got he's got jump up and he's got dauntless. So pro on him is is kind of all right. Um, so you know, ju just things that don't matter. I was I was screaming at Hippie to to make this move here when I was watching it. He had to uh, he had to get there. Otherwise, I mean, this is just two plus out for this guy is way too easy. So uh, I was happy that he he put that guy around there. <laughs> yeah, big guys. Yeah, yeah, big guys. It's it's very good on big guys because it's exactly the same as using a team reroll, isn't it? So yeah, big guys. It's uh, it's way better. He rolls the two. Team reroll. Too. So it was absolutely crucial that you put this guy here. I was, I was, I was watching in I, I was, I didn't write anything in chat, but I was, I was watching stream. The hippie streamed it, and I was like, oh my god, you've got to move this guy here. So thank God he, thank God he did that. I mean, it's still scary for hippie here. Okay, he got a stun, and he's going to foul this guy, and hopefully stun him as well. And now, to be fair, all all he's done really is he's, he's, <laughs> the amount of damage is done there's not really anything left for the uh, for the Skaven team is there already this is maybe the last one Steel Drake because um, who knows how hip, how uh, Calcium and and World Sitar are going to resolve their, their game so GFI that's the pick up He's got to think about getting scoring threats and protecting them, hasn't he, at this point? Seems he's going to foul him and hopefully remove him. So really it's only this guy, isn't it? This guy's the only, the only hob who he's got. Getting uphill. Wow. So yeah, you can put in a couple of guys here, chain him now, hit his claw palm and free him up to go over here in a cage or something, is what I would do. See, I, I don't like that because, okay, you got to go down anyway. But I would have, uh, I would have tried, I would have tried to chain. I mean, this guy can just make a GFI as well. But I, I would have. Whoa, he goes for the pass this turn. Fair enough. Makes the pass. Lucky dingo. So now it's just a GFI. See, because he could have scored without GFIs, couldn't he? So, ooh, I would have. Uh, yeah, I would have tried to free him up get him into scoring range first. That's what I would have done. He makes a one dice. Because he thought that was guard. I, I know how that feels. This guy probably wants to go here. Uh, this would have been better, wouldn't it? Probably. I don't know, six and two threes. Wow. Made a six plus four plus three plus one dice. Powers. <laughs> well isn't that isn't that lucky? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I guess he had to put him there to put well no put him there doesn't really do anything. Because it's still a minus two from him, so I guess you've got to think about one of these two dodging out, so I'll I think I'll put it back now. Not that it would have made any difference because he went around back to the other side anyway. I like how the chat is just a massive rant about Hulk and all that though. <laughs> So 
So he's got to be bull, bull centaur. Hand off to bull centaur. With a reroll. <laughs> Mix it. <laughs> Two plus dodge out with dodge. And then three GFIs with sure feet. Classic. In the cars. <laughs> Wow, Apple. Luckily for him, he had so badly hurt that he can Apple. But that is, that's typical Blood Bowl, isn't it? Make the five plus, make the four plus pick up, the five plus handoff, and then, and then roll the one on the GFI. Holy shit. But he, he, there's no scoring threat to worry about. Another claw hit on a dwarf. Nothing. Green is a good, good shout. <laughs> Fair enough, that one, that one. The pro really touched a nerve, didn't it, with that one, that one. <laughs> oh, So actually, Hibby not scoring was, was actually wasn't that bad because it was only one KO run instead of two, wasn't it? And it actually meant two gutters out for the offense, which is absolutely huge. So, um, oh, wow, that's amazing how I get the. Oh, it's brilliant. Some actual competition. Is it Spartacos Woodies? Or, I, I, I saw that Spartaco was playing as Bretts earlier. I was hoped he'd given up on qualifying with the, with the Woodies. Um, so now we can go to Chase Cam. And we can see that the Skaven have three, six, seven players, only one got a runner. So it's all on the thrower now. <laughs> oh, it's Bretts. Oh. oh, that's a shame then. So it's not actual competition for Rats then. If it had been his Woodies, it would have been an interesting game. I guess Brett will just lose to Skaven. <laughs> and he's got he's got he can foul, I guess he's got dirty player against the claw pond, but probably he should have dirty player anyway. Pro on a scale of one to ten, one. <laughs> Come on. The rats get next to a reroll, but it's really hard for them because he's got this is like the crossbow formation, isn't it? He's got he's got obviously the deep tackler, the the strength four tackle, break tackle, you know. You can basically what Hippie wants to do is not move him for the entire half and just have him there as the ultimate trump card. So yeah, that's what he that's what he really wants to do, isn't it? It's basically like his own little lightning bolt. Uh he's one of the best in the world, yes, Steel Drake. Yes, he is. He is one of the best in the world. For sure. He was ranked number one in the world uh, with Wood Elves in tabletop. However, the uh, tabletop rankings are a bit... I don't know. They are what they are. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be terrible, especially with Dauntless as well. <laughs> the main thing about pro is you only want it on pro you can have on <laughs> if you're greedy you can have it on your primary blitzer to get more knockdowns but I I don't like it but some people do well you you, you know look I'm, not, I'm just I'm just explaining okay. um Wrestle. Is he gonna foul with no assists? No, he's already got a block to make. Oof. That was a that was a reroll that maybe he should have saved with overtime a possibility. Though I guess with only seven Skaven, he, he's gonna think that uh, overtime isn't really a possibility. So that's fair enough. Yeah. Pro is for rerolling fail, rerolling dice that you don't mind if they fail. Which the only real one that is is vampires, because vampires have free hypno gazers, and they don't want to use your team reroll on bloodlust generally. So, yeah, exactly as Shattered Ice says, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, exactly what Shattered Ice says. That that's my that's my thing. Don't send jump up. So for my troll slayer. Um, you know, in, in Chancellor, I've, I've got Dawn's Hunting Club, so Pro wouldn't be awful on it. 
but I would never use it to read to like you know greed it greed for a pal. Well, I I personally wouldn't, but some people would. Because they would get more value for pro. Not, not that I think it's a good skill still, but they would get more value from it than me, who would just would refuse to. So he, he tagged he tagged the uh, the bull. That was a good move because you know the bull's his main weapon to deal with this guy. Though unfortunately, he can just GFI to claw point, which isn't uh, isn't good for him. Oh, he piled on there. Didn't didn't pile. Out. I think I would have GFI to to, to pom him. He's just gonna not pom it. Not not GFI, but then also not pom. If he'd saved the reroll last turn, he could have he could have had the reroll for the GFI. Because I think just getting rid of the one gutter. I guess he can foul him maybe. But getting rid of the one gutter is uh, gonna be ideal, isn't it? And maybe thought about hmm, maybe thought about blocking first. Only one in twelve nine six, but then you'd know where to stand if you got a push or a pal. Maybe. Mm, no, it probably doesn't make much difference. Best to play it safe. Yeah, that's very true, Squirrel Dude. As we were saying, that's where it all came about because he had pro instead of claw. Like the fact he's got juggernaut, I think you take claw every time. Or you could have taken block. But um yeah. I mean, he's just having to make it three plus rolls every turn here, isn't he? Because he just doesn't have any options. Um, it's really, 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 really tough for Girdley now. He didn't really have a lot of chances, did he? I mean, he, he got the hit on the ball when he had it on, on defense. And, but, and he just hasn't, you know, he's just scrambling around trying to do whatever, the, whatever he can here. I mean, I, I assume a foul's going to come in on him at the end of the turn. You could GFI to claw pom blitz him. Uh, or looks like he's gonna bracket him. And blitz somebody else. Blitz him and base the ball. Hooked up. Base, base, base. For a, I would go claw for a rat ogre for sure, especially as you can get juggernaut and actually use it all right. This guy's a little bit of a risky to score, isn't he? Four plus three plus whatever. He's the same, I guess. Oh, he's going for the GFIs. Ooh, double basing's pretty good. And then the foul. Huge. Ducky foul. He got the he got the fable ducky foul, a Kaz and not even sent off. Did he did have, did he have somebody free to move at the end of that? Not sure. If he was free, he should have probably gone up here or something, shouldn't he? But he was pretty fucked there, wasn't he? Fails a three plus. Uh, hopefully, it's just you, Gherkin. It should be it should be fine. So now it looks over, doesn't it? Really, Hippie's got the uh, the bull pickup chance. Hobgoblin's next turn. Oh, maybe if he blitzes this guy, he could have a hobgoblin or be a GFI. He wants to blitz this guy and then get a hobgoblin near the ball, doesn't he? Ball pong here. So yeah, I mean the amount of attrition caused. The hippie caused, uh, Girdley couldn't really, just didn't really get the chance to do anything, did he? He didn't really do anything wrong on, on defense. He just, maybe he's a bad build. Maybe hippie again could have blitzed from a different angle so that a push wouldn't have, would have freed, would have still freed this guy. I'm not sure though. It's so fast, isn't it, the replay? Oh, he did the GFI. I wouldn't have done the GFI. Personally, I wouldn't have done the GFI. I would have just stood him here and then gone for the pickup of the bull. Seeing as you've got pretty much everything locked down anyway, I think just start getting him there and then go for the go for the cheeky bull pickup was, uh, yeah, it does. If he had the movement, I think that push was a really bad. Yeah. yeah.
PS4 is 0-3. Um, the fourth result was my game, Steel Drake, which I won, uh, which you can see on YouTube. So I spoiled it for you. Um, Kaz is in limbo. So, uh, so yeah. So this is like really. This is the this is what, PC are winning three nil, and this is the fourth one. I beat the uh, the undead team. Ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant, uh, <laughs> Jay Can style, <laughs> last frog. <laughs> I will never. I'll never swear again. Oh, now it's now it's scary, isn't it? On the, I mean, you would have had to pick up with a with a. You had to pick up with a hobgoblin on the sideline for sure. But yeah, I think I would have. I think I would have tried for the pick up with a bull the previous time. Uh, who did I beat? The coach name iMedia player. He's iMedio on PC, but on PS4 he's iMedia player, and uh, he basically gave me a shot on the ball. Which I took. And, uh, that was good. I didn't. I didn't do the spoiler for the length of the game, and so this could have been overtime. But now you know it's not overtime. But never mind. Never mind. <laughs> the suspense is gone if, if it would go to overtime. But I mean, looking at the teams, you know. Um. <laughs> there's there's two Skaven left on the pitch. One stunned. There's two gang fouls to come. Um, it's not much. I've just realised that spoiler was there, but never mind. It's not the end of the world, is it? So, with this game, you can pretty much say it's done. So, Hippie won. So, what happened? So, this ties in nicely with uh, Steel Drake asking. So, yeah, so PC beat Xbox 5 0, and they beat PS4 4 0. Um, the Calcium versus World Sitar was um, is undecided as Calcium uh, disconnected on turn 14 with World Sitar looking somewhat likely to score um, and make it 1-1 so basically those two pretty good foul animation it's up to them to to you know if they wanna if they wanna resolve it or not. Um, World Sitar's offering a draw and Calcium's offering a <laughs> offering a replay. So I, I just don't know. It's up to World Sitar basically, isn't it? If he wants to and and Calcium whether they want to play it out or or just have it not count or whatever. But you know PC's honor at the moment is untarnished with nine victories in completed games and one one. Disconnect from the P from the PS4, so quite a success for us. And uh, PS4 beat the Xbox 4-1, so poor old Xbox didn't do great. And uh, but PC did hippy, you know hippy hippy did give up the hit on the ball, which was pretty bad. But you know it's excusable somewhat because Skaven are ridiculously fast, and if you don't play them yourself a lot, it's. Uh, it's kind of there's 22 arm risks. He did a lot of fouls. He did a lot of fouls. But um, you know, look, he had two claw palm. It wasn't it wasn't surprising that he was going to make a lot of a lot of armor breaks. Really, it was it was a terrifying game for the Skaven. and the Skaven pretty much had to turn him over and score, and you know, score quickly, then turn him over and stuff. They, they were always going to be on a clock uh, to get their touchdowns in. So uh, yeah, well, congrats to Bleeding Hippie and to PC. Won all nine games that were completed. And uh, yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.